I can't fathom this, that there would be 10 better defenses than the one that Mike Tomlin's going to throw out there. And, and I have a backup question for you on this. They officially have the best defense since 2017 to start a season. And I may be willing to go deeper into the Steelers history than that. Where's the weakness on this defense as long as Joey Porter Jr. doesn't get hurt? And, and TJ Watt, because, you know, that's the other thing. Well, that was going to be my question. You know, my Jenga theory that, you know, if you take the wrong piece out, the whole thing will implode. I think the Steelers' defensive Jenga piece, I'm not trying to be a hot taker here. I think it's JP Jr. Hmm. because of what's behind TJ Watt at this point. I think they could survive that a little more easily than then the secondary could survive what is a, a real difference maker. That's part of the calculation that you can more or less say on most Sundays, like, hey, 24, the number one on the other side, that's your guy today. And if you can limit that guy, that's a great head start on uh, slowing down these NFL offenses. The help behind Joey Porter Jr. is not as good as the help behind TJ Watt. And that's simply because TJ Watt has that guy, Nick Herbig, and now Marcus Golden, uh, and even DeMarvin Leal, who's flexing out there. DeMarvin Leal, we were just talking about that before we got going. One thing else to look at, Sheck, look at the off-ball linebackers they, they, they've acquired over the last two years. You got a Landon Roberts, you got Patrick yes. Queen, you got Peyton Wilson, even if Cole Holcomb comes back healthy. You know what all those guys do really well? They rush the quarterback up the middle. I think not only are you going to see the Steelers front getting after it, like creating pressure on their own, I think you're going to see a return to Blitzburg. I think you're going to see these these linebackers flying all over the place, and it's going to open up guys like Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt and Nick Herbig to drop back into coverage and make more plays there. And heck, we've seen play. Alex Highsmith had a pick six last year.